Hello, and welcome to another episode of Learn Origami with Mr. Mark. Today, we're going to make this cute little crab. To get started, we'll take our paper. This is colored on one side, white on the other. We're going to start with the white side up. So put the color facing your tabletop. We'll start off by going, by creating a little plus sign into our paper. So go ahead and fold it across one way, open it up, let's fold it the other way, just like that. Now with it open and we see a plus sign, let's take our two sides, these two sides, Let's fold them in to meet our middle crease. And because of how I am very right-handed, I need to turn it around so I make it work. Now that we have both sides folded in, let's now take the bottom and the top and make that meet in the middle as well. We'll fold those down to meet in the middle and open it up. And I'll just do it this way because it works for me. There we go. And now we open that up. With it like this, we need to start making our crabs so beat. So we're gonna take this flap we're going to make this crease line here meet the edge here. So to do that, we're going to open up our little pocket and just being gentle, being good, and just making sure we make that meet. We're going to do that, keep that flap up, because now we need to do that on the other side as well. We'll take this edge, this crease, to meet this edge. We are opening up a pocket, the pocket. We will open up those pockets and push down from this top flap. And now we have what looks like part of a boat. Oops, my paper's wrinkling. That's okay. I'm making it work. There we go. I make it work. And we have to do the same thing down here. I'm going to turn it around so you can see it. So I do the same thing. These need to meet this edge. So we're making a crease down here. Just like that. We open, make an angle, and push our page down. Doing pushes like this is actually known as doing a squash fold. There we go. See, and now we have this kind of shape. With this now set like this, we're going to start making our legs. So we're going to take this corner and we're going to fold this up in an angle right here like that we'll just fold this up see so this is a crease that's kind of going past our lines here and creating a bit of a different shape triangle see how it looks longer on this side. Let's repeat that on the other side now. We'll take this side, we'll take this, fold this, fold it up, and now we have our points. See we have a point here that helps us later. And there are our legs. So we folded this up and this side up. Next, we need to take this side, our bottom half. We're gonna be folding them up. 
we're folding them up on a different angle. So we're going to take it. So we're going to create a fold going from this bottom middle crease to go outside this point here. In a way, we're making it so that top point meets this top point. We're going to take this corner to meet this corner. Just like that. And if you want to, let's crease this in a little more. I'm making, I'm going to push that in a little bit more. And we do the same thing here. We'll take this to meet that edge. This corner meets that corner. Just like that. And you see how we get a little point right here at this very bottom? Look at this. So we have a funny looking shape right now, don't we? We got angles, angles, angles pointing up. Well, we're almost done making our crafts little legs. So let's take this top flap corner on our right. Let's first bring this down. We're gonna fold it down and make it nice and even. Same thing with this one, with the other side. Let's take the left side and bring that down. Make it nice and even. There we go. Next, let's take this point and make it meet right here in the center. And for me, I just gotta pick up my paper to get it. There we go. So let's take this point, fold it up to meet that center to make it meet the very center of our crab's body. And just like that, our body is finished. Our crab will be finished when we turn it over. And there we go. All we have left to do is let's make a little face. Let's put on a couple of eyes for our crab. There we go, and now we have two crabs. Aren't they cute? Thank you for joining me, and have a great day. Make a couple of crabs, and have a day at the beach.